welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is nate denise for those of you who are new to the channel and i post new videos every tuesday and thursday all about my faith god christ and expanding the kingdom of god we are at the end of may which means it is time for me to record my monthly book haul for you guys and you guys know that i do these videos in two parts so this time around the first video is going to be on the items that i purchased spent money on or got on a donational fee and then the second portion of this video will be all the review books and bibles that i received so i'm just going to jump into this i am sipping on some tea right now this is the earl gray black tea with lavender from twinings it is really delicious i'm using my pink and white polka dot coffee mascara and jesus mug and on the inside there are some eyelashes i am a freelance makeup artist if you guys don't know that is the job that i do i work as a freelance makeup artist um in a hair salon and on my own as well as being a stay-at-home mom so um i just thought this mug was amazing i got it from my local discount store so i just had to have it and just check my phone quickly okay and um yeah so diving into this now my son is here with me. He is actually on the bed currently sleeping, and um, you might hear him, so I apologize ahead of time if you do, but we're going to jump into this. I'm going to start off with the things that I got from Our Daily Bread. Do I even need to discuss Our Daily Bread, you guys? I love them. I will always love them. They are awesome. So I'm going to start off with devotionals. I received two devotionals um, from them. This first one was actually free, and um, it's Heaven which is a 90-day devotional from them. And you guys know I like their 90-day devotionals. I have one on prayer, love, and faith from them. This one is on heaven. And, um, yeah, I'm excited for this. It is a really simple kind of thing. It just comes with the titles, um, the scripture that you're going to read for the day, a main pointed out scripture or verse, um, your devotional, the author here, and then something important about the devotional from that day. So um, I actually do like this cover. It's really different from the other covers. Um, it's really nice. So that's that. And it did come with a note, a little scratch notepad. So I think I'm going to keep this on my desk because I'm, I'm always looking for something quickly. And this scripture on here is 2 Corinthians 4.18. It is said, what is seen is temporary, what is unseen is eternal. And it is in the NIV translation. And it's just the same kind of thing throughout. So I think this is going to be great to keep at my table area. Um, the next devotional I got, I actually paid $5 on their site for. Um, you can also get the journal that comes with it for $10 or get the duo pack, which is $15. i will leave links to them down below. But um, I really just wanted the devotional itself because it's something that I did receive um, an early advanced copy of for review through NetGalley. And when I saw that they had it on their site for $5, bucks, um, I got it. And it's really pretty. It's God Hears Her 365 Devotions for Women by Women from Our Daily Bread. And it is... Forwarded by Eliza Morgan. I've been saying Alicia for the longest, you guys. So I don't know if it's Eliza or Alicia. I don't know. I'm going to look it up. But I always call her Alicia. But it says Eliza Morgan, I think. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm excited about this um, devotional. It does come with a bookmark. And um, it looks really cute. And I have this displayed on my bookshelf right now. But it's just set up pretty much like their other devos. Where you have the title of the devotional, your main scriptures, your key scripture from the main scripture, and then your devotional, which actually contains other scriptures. Um, there is no prayer, but um, that's fine because I can use the scriptures to pray, obviously. But um, it's a really pretty Debo, really pretty, and it's so small, it's something you can definitely travel with. I love the um, foil kind of they got going on. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. No, but this part here is foiled as well as god hears her is foiled but it's kind of like this uh moss minty green kind of silver foil i don't know but it's pretty the next book i have is seeing the heart of christ how jesus cares for hurting people from bill crowder i have a lot of his books i just decided to get it it says christ Christ's heart for hurting people is a reflection of the heart of the father so i decided to get it because it sounded good I mean, it's Our Daily Bread, it, devotional fees, what, why not, right? I mean, di the notion, donational fees, you guys. Uh, and then this one is called The Prayer Coin, Daring to Pray with Honest Abandon from Alicia or Eliza Morgan. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. <laughs> it says, take a coin, toss it in the air, now call it heads, tails, what if you could choose both sides? 
Um, so yeah, I have quite a few of her items, um, her books, especially the She Did What She Could and Hello Beautiful. Um, I have those. I have yet to read any of her work. I plan to really soon. Um, they do have this still on the site, but I think now they have a specified fee of a minimum of $17 for donation. When I originally saw this, there was no specified donation, but now there is. Um, you can get the physical copy, the ebook, and I think there's a journal as well that you can request. Um, but I'll leave links down below for you guys to check those out. So that's pretty much it from our daily read. Moving on to Joyce Myers. I mean, I always have something from Joyce Myers, right? I love Joyce Myers. On her site, she has a section called Today's Offer where you can um, pay donation fee for certain items. Some things have a set minimum. Some things don't. Um, so I love that place. Um, I love that on her site because it allows you to acquire some of her things. Like she has one of her devotionals, one of her older devotionals up now on the site that I actually just requested. So that should be coming in the mail within another week or so. But um, you guys, it, it wouldn't be a Joyce Meyer kind of haul without some audio stuff from her, right? So this one is called Overcome the Enemy with God's Truth, How to Believe and Not Be Deceived. Um, so this is the cover of it. And it comes with four CDs. So you have the first two here. The first one is Ways the Devil Deceives Us. And then also part two, which is the second CD. And then the third one is Don't Be Offended by Truth. The fourth is Finding Freedom Through Facing Truth. So I'm excited for that. The next one is How to Handle Temptation. This is the updated and um, revised. And I'm sorry, you guys. This one here is a total of four teachings on CDs. It's a length of four hours and eight minutes, which is pretty cool. This one is a length of three hours and 42 minutes. Four CDs, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so here it is, How to Handle Temptation. So the first one is saving, Staying One Step Ahead of the Devil. Hopefully you guys can see that. The second one is Five Ways to Win Over Temptation. The third CD is The War for Man's Soul. And then the fourth one is The High Cost of Low Living. Now, what I do like um, about the Joyce Meyer site, whether you pay donational fee or if you pay the actual price, um, if they update any of the disc or books, they actually do send you a copy in the mail of the updated version with a letter just thanking you for your previous purchase and wanting to send you the updated version. That has happened to me a few times, so I really like them. Um, then I got three books, so this, I actually have four. I, I know I wasn't bugging. <laughs> so here's the other one. This one is called Facing Truth by Joyce Meyer. And um, it's just a quick little booklet, nothing insane. But um, this comes with her free monthly items that you have free monthly resources, and I'll link it down below. Every month she has free items that you can get. So I got this along with this book here, which is called God's Greatest Gifts, His Word, His Name, and His Blood. So these two came together in a package. I think it came with something else as well. Can't remember, but I have those two. Um, this is actually the book that I was supposed to haul last month, but it didn't come until this month, earlier this month. So it's Living a Life You Love, Embracing the Adventure of Being Led by the Holy Spirit. This book finally came in the mail, and it's a nice cover. Um, yeah, it's a nice cover. Dust jacket, if you will. And then lastly, I have Living Beyond Your Feelings. Um, it's about controlling your emotions so they don't control you, from Joyce Meyer. And, um, you know... A lot of her books are about dealing with your mind and your emotions, and that's something that I need to deal with and um, worry about. I get, not worry about, but um, try to get a handle on because I'm a very emotional person. Um, very emotional. I am sensitive. Not as sensitive as I used to be because I used to cry in an instant, but um, I still have my moments when I get too sensitive towards things. And um, I just, I like her books a lot, so I have those. And then I have the things that I got from ChristianBook.com because they had their 99 cent sale. And this is an order that um, they actually sent to me twice. So some of these things I do have um, copies of. Some I already gave to my mother. Some I'm actually sending to my sis Angela. But um, yeah. But before I get into that, I do want to share. I did get these Pigma Micron pens. I wanted to try them out. They are archival ink fine 
lino pins, I guess. Um, I got them in the 01, which is a 0.25 millimeter. I got them from Michaels this past weekend um, just because I really wanted to try them out and I had the funds. So I decided to go get them. They were actually having 50% off. Um, I think it was buy one, get one 50% off. And the original ones I was going was gonna to get is the 05, which is the 0.45 millimeters. Um, but I saw these and I've never had a 0.25 millimeter and I felt like the 0.45 was similar to like a 0.5 or 0.7, which I'm used to. So I got these and, um, you guys, this thing is super fine, super, super fine. Um, it's a nice pen. It's archival. So it's waterproof, fade proof and all that great stuff. Um, I got the all black set. Um, it comes with six of them. So it's all black. Um, and it says zero one on top with the color they do have um some plastic nib ones which i heard are pretty cool so i definitely want to try those out but um i just got an all black set to see how i would like it in my journaling bible and let me quickly show you guys and i'm also going to do an update video on what i've been studying because i haven't been studying in a minute personal studies um because i've been doing the ruth and esther studies but um right now i'm diving into mark because i felt like isaiah was just too much for the moment so i'm gonna dive into um isaiah once i finish the gospels but um i mean so far i like the pen that's me using the pen there i like it so far i mean i don't know we'll see it doesn't bleed through um it does ghost but it doesn't bleed through um, I do think it will be better than using my regular pens just because my regular pens are starting to continuously fade through the page. And I know that these archival ink kind of pens don't continuously um, seep through the page. So that's that. So I have that pack there. Set that to the side. Okay, so to ChristianBook.com. First thing I got was a Bible. Keep in mind, I just ordered another Bible from them. The thing is, I have a problem, you guys. I love Bibles. I like ordering Bibles. Um, but the thing with that is I don't collect Bibles. I actually utilize all of my Bibles. This one is no different. And this is that Bible I actually saw from Cat Woods. I will leave a link to both of her videos down below where she talked about this Bible. But she had it in the God's Word translation, I think it is. Um, and it's the Pray the Scriptures Bible. I got mine in the King James translation. And it's a really cool Bible. Um, I have mine in the... Zoravella navy color it comes in all black and it comes in hardcover i actually just ordered the hardcover for my mother um but here's what it looks like it has the our father or the lord's prayers in, um inscribed inscripted i don't even know what it's called on the cover um it's imitation leather i don't really care for the feel of the cover but um what i like is that all the books have an introduction quickly on them but what i really loved is let me go to the let me, let me go to, like, yeah, Proverbs or Psalms. All the scriptures have prayers next to them. So for um, Psalms, mm, let me not do 119 because that's a basic one, right? But let's go to, okay, so Psalms 145, um, verses 1 through 3. It says, I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will bless thee. I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised and his greatness is unsearchable. So right next to it, after reading um, 145 verses 1 through 3, there is a prayer here, something simple. And it says, I will extol you forever and ever your greatness is unsearchable. Quick, simple kind of prayer you can do. And what I like about this is that you can take these prayers and um, extend them. You can use them as prayer prompts. I love any type of book that has to do with prayers because they help me to begin to write out my own prayers speak my own prayers some of them don't always have like prayers next to them so you could utilize this to put your own prayers this is going to be my prayer book um i have prayer journals i have a prayer wall i have a prayer index photo album i have so many util um, uses to doing my prayers um different ways but i think this one is a great one that i can eventually pass down to my son um because there will be already prayers written in here i will go through and highlight the prayers of the word i mean sorry the prayers within the bible and um stuff like that so i'm excited to dive into this and again it is in the king james translation so last few things are these sack of books now you guys know i've ordered from them from their 99 cent sale before and you saw that but this order was an order that was it took forever for me to get you guys because some of the things weren't in stock so i had some things on back order 
and um then my package went missing in transit so i had called them and contacted them for like two weeks um and christian book actually resent the package out to me um however when they resent it they said that they were going to put a shipping label in for when i get the old package that they had sent out they never put a shipping label in that box so i have backups and like copies of the studies and stuff so some of the stuff like i said i gave to my mom um, some of the stuff I'm giving to my sis Angela. If you guys don't know who she is, her name is Anne. She is the uh, founder and creator of Transforming. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Founder and creator of Transforming Through God's Word. I'm going to leave a link down below to her Facebook group, Facebook page, and her Instagram, as well as her YouTube channel. She definitely started a YouTube channel, and it's awesome. She has um, word studies on there. She has scripture studies on there, book hauls. She's amazing. I love her. Check out her channel. But um, I'm sending some stuff to her, too. But I'll let you guys know what I still have available. But um, this first item here is actually 31 Days with God for Fathers. I have a backup of this, which I'm actually sending to my sis to give to her dad um, for Father's Day. But um, yeah, I got this from my fiance because I got him a Bible. And you'll see the Bible in the next video. I got him a Bible. And um, you guys probably would have seen the one that I have for Mothers. Um, I figured this was something me and him can do together. Um, because... I don't know, I just want to, I want us to build spiritually together. Um, so I figured this would be something great to give him. I guess that, that's it. Um, then I have this, which is praying the names of God, 200 devotional prayers inspired by the wonderful names of our wonderful Lord from Leanne Blackmore. And they're literally just prayers using the different names of God, um, in there. So this is one that they didn't have, um, a copy of when I when they reshipped the order to me so I only have one copy of this and I'm glad I was able to still get this because that's the one that I really wanted then I have the prayers of the Bible devotional I did have a backup of this gave it to my mother um, and it's just going through the prayers of the Bible really much that I mean I like prayer you're gonna see a lot of these books have to do with prayer like this next one is the Max Licato and Andrea Licato uh, pocket prayers 40 simple prayers that bring peace and rest i'm not sure if i had another copy of this i think i did but i think i gave it to my mother this is god's passion for you by billy graham max licato and graham lots john MacArthur, and charles swindoll i don't really know what it is it looks just like there are just scriptures in here I guess it's a devotional, but for some reason, yeah, these are just devotionals. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a mix of devotionals from their various devotional books. You can get each of the books separately. So this just has a few of their devotionals in here um, to, I guess, see if you would like to buy the full copy of them. And the rest of these are all Bible studies. Um, they had all these Bible studies on sale for 99 cents. Of course, I went for them because I like Bible studies. So this one is a study guide to a book called God Breathe um, by Josh McDowell. It is the undeniable power and reliability of scripture. I do not have the book. I didn't know that there was a book out, so I am going to be getting the book. This is a five-session Bible study, so five weeks, basically. And, um, yeah, it sounds really good. It says, is the Bible relevant? Is it historically accurate? What is God trying to communicate to me through his word? If you ever thought about or ask these questions, you'll find this trustworthy answer. You'll find trustworthy answers in the God Breathe study guide. Um, it's what is the real purpose of the Bible, who the true author of the Bible is, how the Old Testament is historically reliable, and the New Testament is historically reliable, as well as how the Bible can move or come alive in your life. So, yeah, this is pretty interesting. There are questions in here and i'm excited to dive into that this one is oh i think i have a backup copy of this i believe i gave it to my mother or it's gonna be in a giveaway soon can't remember but um this one i had a backup copy of actually i have backup copies of all of these let me stop saying that all of these i'm showing you i have backup copies of but i either gave them to my mother put them in, away from my sis or they're in the box to give away and i'm going to show you guys um all of the giveaway items i have coming soon but this one is galatians breakaway to freedom scripture guide for today's women by sarah l howell and it's just on the book of galatians i have three from neil t anderson and it's in a series called victory series which is based off of his book growing in christ which i actually need to look up and um get my hands on they're from bethany house um so this one is actually the fifth study there are a bunch of different studies 
um, but I only have five, six, and eight because they were on sale. The rest of them I think are like four or five dollars or maybe even seven dollars on the site. And um, depending on how I feel about these, I might just get the whole set. But um, yeah, this is Growing in Christ, Deep in Your Relationship, Jesus. This one is Your Life in Christ, Walk in Freedom by Faith, which is study six. And then I have the eighth one, which is your ultimate victory, which is standing strong in the faith. And they all have scriptures, sorry. So study eight is um, John 8 and 32 at the bottom. And you guys can see this is study number eight. Study number six has 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 on it. Down there. And study number five has 2 Peter 3 and 18. So, the fifth study in the scripture. The next set is um, a series, and I have all of them except one because I felt like I didn't need it. It was called The Blended Family, or The Blended Marriage, or something like that. I felt like I didn't need it because I don't think I'm going to have a blended kind of family anytime soon. Um, my fiancé and I have been together for six years, and, um, you know, I know that, I'm, I'm not going to jinx it, but I believe that we're, we're purposed to be together. That's just what I believe. Um, and this is called the marriage series and we're not married. We've been engaged for five years, been together six years and, um, you know, I'm preparing myself for marriage because we've been at this bump in a road where we've, um, gotten ready to get married, but then something would happen in the relationship. And, um, part of me is happy that we never rushed it because I feel like if we rushed it, we would have been doomed. But another part of me is like, all right, it's been forever. I'm ready to, you know, become a, a family, live together. And, and actually be together as a family and I know that's something that our son desires because he doesn't like to um, always go between the two houses and he prefers sometimes that we're together but it's kind of hard because my fiance and I do live in two different cities um, about a 20 minute drive but he's the only driver right now so you know so I got this series um, and they're by Gary and Greg Smalley so the first one is the communicating marriage um, it's learn how to open learn how open expression strengthens your life together I suck at communication. I truly do. Like, I prefer not to talk, and that's just how I've always been through, um, been due to past situations in my life where I just shut down. So, me shutting down was like my mechanism. I shut down and move on with life. I suck at communication, especially in a relationship. Um, he, my fiance, prefers to talk things. I prefer to write things. So, it's kind of hard sometimes with us communicating why. So, I got this so that I could work on this for myself and, um, I could do this along with him as well. So sometimes I think this would be something we could do together. The next one is the covenant marriage. Um, discover how God's promises shape your life together. The giving marriage. How to dis Discover how to reflect the love of Christ in your life together. The masterpiece marriage. Discover God's grand design for your life together. The model marriage. Discover the power of sacrificial love in your life together. The Fighting Marriage, Learning Healthy Ways to Resolve Conflict in Your Life Together. The Abundant Marriage, Discover God's Extravagant Plan for Your Life Together. The Surprising Marriage, Discover the Adventure of Faith in Your Life Together. <laughs> and the last one that I have is the Passionate Marriage, Learn How Intimacy Shapes Your Life Together. And I got this because me and my fiancé are currently... Um, I'm not going to say struggling, but we're having problems with intimacy just because um, I used to divulge in sexual sin. I still sometimes fall and slip into sexual sin, but um, I desire to learn how to be intimate with him without that portion of um, intimacy, like the physical intimacy as far as sex, just because I don't want our relationship to be based on that and um, I feel like that was a basis of our relationship. And now that we don't do it as much, um, we do sometimes slip up and fall into it. But we don't do it as much, so it becomes a struggle for us. So I really felt like the communicating, um, the communication marriage as well as a passionate marriage would help me personally because it's me who struggles the most with it um, as far as being intimate with him. He's very much um, always wanting to be with me spend time with me just be in my presence um but it's just me sometimes who struggles with that so yeah i got those specifically for me to work on but again this is stuff that i can and like i can do with him do without him 
and I feel like these books will help me personally prepare for marriage as well as um, stay in the mindset. So that is everything, you guys. Um, pretty long, almost 30 minutes, but that is just the first portion. The second part of this video might be longer than this. But um, these are all of the books that I got from our, um, our ChristianBook.com. Like I said, I did place another order with them not too long ago, and I'm excited for those to come in the mail. But that is it for this portion of the video, and if you guys do want to see part two, just click the on the screen, which if I'm not mistaken will be on this side and not this side. It'll be on this side if I'm not mistaken, um, so click the on the screen for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If not, bye. Mm -hmm.